Okay, so we're back here at the Viking Academy, Stephen Williams. Today we're going to talk about a little bit more of a, a less technical, a little bit based more on, you know, when's a good time to tap. Specifically, if you're a white belt starting out, you know, when's a good time to, to tap out? And I think this is a question that a lot of people have not yet answered on, on YouTube. And I think a lot of the responsibility falls on the coach. So when is a good time to tap? Um, something you'll hear me utter oftentimes on the mats is early and often. You know, tap out as early as you can and as often as you can. When people first come onto our mats, the f what's common is that they'll have a, a pretty strong ego. So most specifically guys uh, won't want to tap out when they first get here. So they'll oftentimes get their arms hyperextended, they'll get their legs cranked, and they'll get choked um, beyond belief. But what I try to tell people, what I try to stress to people is that it's, it's very important that you, you tap early and often. Leave your ego at the door, and it's just gonna make you a better training partner as well if you can put some of those uh, sort of egotistical things that are a part of all of us aside, you're gonna become a better training partner, you're gonna have a better energy on the mat. So, I also wanna stress that, because there's a lot of coaches that might come across this video, it's important for us as coaches and, and instructors to stress this on the mats. It's not, it's not just uh, something that's innate to people. So, as a student comes in a white belt with zero experience, it's not likely that he's or she's gonna be able to just understand that that's a good, a good way to be. It's important for us to stress that to our students. Have that conversation with white belts on the mats. Tell them, listen, we're gonna do one more round, Jackson. Uh, it's important for, uh, for us to, to have that sit down with the white belts and tell them because listen, it's a liability. They might sign the waiver when they walk in, but you'll lose a member forever if you know their arm gets broken. And they, they may never come back and, and train jiu-jitsu because of the fact that you know their arm is not destroyed. So make sure that you stress that to your students. So this has been a little bit more of a, a conversational piece than what we typically do. We usually focus more on the technical aspects. But since I'm a little bit injured, I think this would be a good opportunity to, to stress that. So when do you tap out? Early and often. Subscribe.